but you're still bullish on stocks here. You still think we're. I, I am. Yeah, I'm as bullish as there is on the street, I think, and probably more than almost anybody. Um, I continue to think that um, what we saw in the last two months was a consolidation of the run from last October. And, you know, consolidation, I called, I pretty much called that we'd have a consolidation. I didn't know if it'd be five or 10%. And it turned out to be nine on the S&P anyway. So, so what I saw in the last two months was just classic, uh, you know, need, need to consolidate, rebuild that wall of worry before we move higher. And I think we've completed the consolidation. Uh, we'll see, you know, there's always a chance you can go a little lower, but I think we probably completed a, um, and that the next stop is, you know, up around the highs, 4,800 area. And if we push through there with any oomph, uh, we're off to the races in terms of melt up. So, um, you know, the, the only question I really have is whether we, we pause at the highs for a little bit. And I don't think it'll be a two month pause, but we might pause there a little bit back off before we push forward or whether we just kind of blow through there and keep going. So I think fourth quarter is shaping up to be a very strong quarter in the equity markets. Okay. So short-term bullish for stocks and for bonds. What are your targets? Um, okay. For stocks, it's S and P six to 7,000. It's a broad range. I, uh, most of my other indexes, I have just one target. And as I said yesterday on Twitter, uh, basically, those are my minimum expectations. The S and P, because I tend to talk about the S and P more as a proxy for the market. Um, I've I've got a, a lower and an upper um, target. So, so I actually think we're probably going to um, go above my minimum expectations. So, all my other targets: Nasdaq twenty thousand, um, Dow Jones uh, forty eight thousand. Uh, the Russell 3000. So I, I think those are minimum expectations and could go beyond that. If we get into this melt up slash blow off, um, I think it's going to be obviously very driven by emotion at the end and be vertical. Um, in a vertical market, when you get into what is I call a top of a 41 year secular bull, it can go wherever it wants in a very short term. It won't stay there very long. But, you know, if if you got a lot of money chasing things, I think we're going to find, you know, this can be a buying stampede where you can, we're going to find that there's not as much stock liquidity as you might expect. You know, that if everybody's been on one side of the boat for so long, um, you know, mostly bearish uh, and cautious, um, if they all in a very concentrated period of time move to the other side of the boat, you know, I think you're going to see a lot of price movement as people try to get into the market. 